Two Oranga Tamariki staff members have been removed from two unnamed residences following serious allegations of inappropriate sexual behaviour toward children in care. Former Police Commissioner Mike Bush will now take on the leadership of all youth justice and care and protection residences while conducting an investigation. The events came to light after an unannounced monitoring visit from the Office of the Children's Commissioner. Judge Francis Evers from Ngati Maniapoto is the Children's Commissioner for Aotearoa New Zealand and is with us now. Tēnā koe, Judge Evers. Thank you so much for joining us. Tēnā koe. Now, as I understand it, staff on your team made a routine unannounced visit to one of the residences. What happened? What, what did they find there? Yes, it's under the um, international treaty where we go in to check that um, our mokopuna are not being treated inhumanely or suffering any sort of torture. Um, so that was just a routine visit and that information came to light, so they reported it. What was the first response from Oranga Tamariki uh, once it was reported? Uh, when you contacted them? Uh, yes, um, I made direct contact with um, Oranga Tamariki and um, they immediately um, started a process, um, which we've heard about subsequently. Oh, so, oh. Um, I was talking with um, the chief executive over the weekend and um, following what was um, their response. OK. Now, I believe that previously many concerns raised by the office remained unaddressed. How surprised were you by the rapid and, and decisive response this time? Uh, I, I was pleased yeah. rather than surprised. Okay. Um, we do have a process with Oranga Tamariki. These were quite serious concerns. Um, so um, I, I would have expected that that would have been their response, and it was. Um, the, the, the matters that are set out in our reports are more at the level of uh, perhaps uh, not being enough staff on the ground, staff not having enough training, sort of general issues around, more systemic issues within um, the way the residences are run. Now, what are you able to tell us about what your staff found? Well, it is subject of a police inquiry. So uh, my staff go in, they, they ask, you know, they just check, um, as I say, with this focus on ensuring that mokopuna uh, not being uh, cr treated cruelly or badly or inhumanely. So um, this was the information that came to light. I can't comment on that. Um, and we acted immediately. Uh, Judge Evers, in the past, you've advocated for the closure of these types of facilities. Why have you not been comfortable with them? And what stood out to you as some of the biggest issues? Well, these uh, residences are probably, you know, 30, 40, 50 years old, they're, they're, they're institutions um, and they can take up to sometimes uh, 20, 30 young people uh, and they're like prisons. I don't know if you've ever been in one. Um, and often our mokopuna are sent away from their whānau either to a different part of the country or a different island. And we're talking about 12, 14, 15, 16-year-olds. And if we're going to have uh, these young people come, and there's two types of residences, there's care and protection, which is where young people with um, sort of behavioural issues uh, that can't be managed by whānau uh, come under Oranga Tamariki care and they're, therefore are put in this residence as last resort. And then the other type are the youth justice ones where um, the children that have committed offences go. Yeah. But they're meant to be last resort and short term, and they're not. They, are, they look like a prison. Um, the, the model is old. It's out of date. There is new, um, new thinking about smaller... Uh, boutique style care um, in community based, and you know, in terms of our mokopuna Māori, our bai Māori, for Māori approach, mm, and mm. actually there are models already working in the country, um, which which operate in that way. So, I don't like the fact that we put our children in what I call prison like facilities. Mm. Not okay. Well, what are you hoping to see from this investigation? What do you believe needs to happen? I would like to see. All of our residences shut down, uh, and I'm hoping that this uh, will help uh, hasten that process. Um, even, even you know, the International Convention on the Rights of Children mm. does not support this model of care for children in these sorts of situations. So, um, and you know, Oranga Tamariki is aware of that. They are, um, in my discussions with them, supportive of a community-based model. It's just getting that done. So, I'm hoping um, that this really just highlights why. Uh, we, we cannot, we need our mokona in a place where the care is therapeutic, 
where it's based on individual smaller numbers and um, hopefully avoid any harm coming to them. And how will you and your and office keep them be safe. sorry and keep them safe? Yes. And how will you yes. and your office be working with Oranga Tamariki from this point to help develop a better system for our our children? Well, we are in regular contact with Oranga Tamariki. We have regular meetings. I'm um, talking about this. Uh, we try to be, you know, we, there's, we have to wait out, uh, await the outcome of this investigation. Um, that being said, you know, we do have meetings with Oranga Tamariki, different levels um, of owner, um, of, uh, uh, you know, levels across the, the mm. organisation. Mm. Um, the monitoring team, uh, we, we produce reports that go to the minister, so they're aware of what's what's happening. Um, and I have regular meetings with Oranga Tamariki, but different different people in our staff do have that. Yep. I mean, we will. We've been driving for this a long time, even before my time, mm. um, behind the scenes. Um, and I think there's perhaps it's you know it's it's I'm hoping it's gaining some momentum now, and that um, this can help hasten that process and have a model that's actually fit purpose and that suits the needs of our mokopuna. Keeps them safe but also addresses their, they, their, their, their needs so that they can go back to their whanau and be safe and strong and, and supported by their whanau. Yeah, lo love that idea. Children's Commissioner Jub Judge Francis Evers, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate yeah. the mahi that you're doing to protect our, our oh, pamiriki. Kia ora. Tēnā koe.